If you haven't been at the zoo to watch this herd of elephants, it's just been an absolutely amazing time and one of the most gratifying times of my career. It's hard to believe Frankie's already six months old. He weighs almost 800 pounds and continues to gain over two pounds a day. Uh, this weight gain will continue for a very long time. From the beginning, our goal was to have Frankie grow up in a herd of elephants. Phoebe, who is an experienced mom, knows exactly what to do with a baby elephant, knows how to manage the herds. Uh, Sonny and Rudy are very inexperienced, on the other hand, so they've had to learn everything. They've had to actually understand what it takes to take care of a baby elephant, because he wants to be everywhere. He wants to be with everyone. When Sonny first saw him, immediately loved him. Uh, but she was hesitant. I mean, she was a little nervous being around him. Uh, so it took time for the bond to grow and the relationship to grow to the point where it is now where when Sonny and Frankie are hanging out, it's playtime. Uh, Sonny is extremely protective of him uh, and always wants to be where Frankie is. Rudy being the older aunt, uh, she started off with kind of like, you stay over there, I'll stay over here and we'll be cool. Uh, now Rudy is reluctantly hanging out with him. Like this little elephant will not leave her alone and she begrudgingly gives in to this, cute, this cuteness. Uh, when you see uh, things that may startle the herd, the herd comes together and the herd takes care of the baby. The Frankie becomes the focus and it's been an amazing process to watch. You can spend hours watching the elephant herd. One of the most important things that we started with Frankie and it started very early on Every interaction with Frankie the Elephant is a training opportunity. So the staff has gotten really creative. Uh, it started off with, come stand on this wooden block so we can get a weight. Now, it's, it, now the, wooden, the wooden platform has moved outside the pen where we're asking him to come hang out with us for a little bit. The rule is, stand on the wooden platform and we'll interact with you. At the same time, Phoebe's in the back getting reinforced. We're just borrowing him for a couple minutes every day. So she's an awesome mom, so she totally gets it. Uh, but what we've watched, we've watched how uh, he was a little hesitant to come out. So what the keepers just did, which was ingenious, was they said, let's let him play while he's out here. So they introduced the big giant boomer ball, which I think a lot of our, our visitors have seen him playing with the giant boomer ball. He knows this boomer ball. He loves this boomer ball. And this process allowed him to get super comfortable with the keepers and same rules. When he is on top of his boomer ball, the keepers will engage with him. So that tells him when I'm standing on the platform or I'm standing on the boomer ball, uh, my keepers are gonna engage with me. Uh, it got a little bit out of hand sometimes because he just loves his boomer ball. So now the keepers are actually working because he, he is now taking solid foods. They're working towards a little more controlled sessions. We wanna be able to train Frankie with all the things that it needs to take care of these guys. I mean, these guys are large animals and we wanna be able to do everything that's necessary with him as he ages. And one of the most important ones at this time is we wanna be able to get blood from him voluntarily. We wanna be able to check his health by looking at his blood levels. We can draw blood from several different places on an elephant. Uh, right now we're focusing on his ear. Uh, he, has, he has nice blood vessels that we will be able to get blood from him from there. And it, it's, it's a lot of desensitizing. It's a lot of uh, just getting him used to us touching his ear, uh, fiddling with his ear. Uh, and you can see as, as, as these guys work with, with Frankie, you can see he knows what they're doing and he gives them the, their ear. And it's all voluntary. I mean, he can go, run back to Phoebe if he wants. Uh, again, the keepers are taking cues from him and learning how to get to the point where we can draw this blood voluntarily. What's equally important as training Frankie is what we do with this blood and, and how we use this blood to monitor his health. An exciting opportunity at the zoo, thanks to our generous family that helped us name Frankie, is we are now able to monitor our blood values of all of our elephants in-house here at the Columbus Zoo. Blood can tell you a lot of things about the health of an elephant, and now that we can run the blood in-house here at the zoo, we're able to stay a step ahead and monitor our elephants proactively. So as we move forward, uh, one of the things we do a lot is we, we let the, this herd be together as much as we can. They spend the night together. They pile up in the middle of the big uh, community room and sleep. It's adorable. Uh, but we also rotate things up. Hank hangs out with Biko, hangs out with Sonny and Rudy, sometimes with Connie. Biko hangs out with Sonny and Rudy. Uh, so we're constantly moving things around. So a common question we get is, will Hank and Frankie meet each other? Will Biko and Frankie meet each other? And just like in native ranges, 
Uh, elephant herds are a female uh, social structure taking care of babies together. The males come and go. Hank is about 15,000 pounds. Biko is about 9,000 pounds. Uh, Hank's a pretty calm bull, but he's a bull elephant. And uh, because Frankie is only 800 pounds and very precious to all of us, uh, we will continue to monitor things, uh, but it'll be a long time before and if they ever meet each other. If you have not been out to the zoo lately, I encourage you to come out and watch Frankie and his herd of elephants. It's absolutely amazing to watch. Uh, watching Frankie go from elephant to elephant to hanging out to watching Rudy be annoyed with him, but be like, oh, okay, whatever. Uh, I come out and, and see Frankie and Phoebe and Sonny and Rudy and all the rest of the elephants here at the zoo.